All right, we will do a, uh, a test on two paints, one smelly one, the normal paint, and one uh, less smelly one, which is also called low VOC, so low volatile organic compounds. And we have two smell sensors, which are, are these ones. Uh, I'll explain a bit more later. But first, a view of the paint. This is a very standard paint. Um, and this one is a so-called low VOC paint. The green label up here, I'm not sure if you can read, but it says low VOC. So uh, my colleague will give the both cans a little bit of a shake. Um, and then we'll place it uh, into the uh, two containers you see in the back and put on the lid. So while he's shaking the paint, um, let me just explain a little bit about this sensor. This is a wearable sensor that you can strap to your bag, so you can actually carry it around and measure the uh, air quality in your daily life. And uh, this one measures the uh, VOC level. Um, but it also measures four other parameters, one being uh, smog, which is NO2. Uh, so that means the air pollution in cities from exhaust from cars. And then it also measures uh, the particulate matter in the air, the most famous one being PM2.5, uh, which is, are these small particles that goes inside your lungs and uh, can go straight into your bloodstream. It also measures the even smaller uh, particles, uh, which is PM1. Uh, so that's also uh, uh, interesting and quite dangerous to human health. And then it measures the bigger particles, PM10. Uh, but I think for this experiment, the most interesting measurement will be on the uh, PM, uh, sorry, on the VOC levels. So now we have placed, placed the paint uh, and now we put the uh, air quality sensor at the back of each container and then we put on the lid on each container and then uh, we just let these two boxes uh, be for the next um, one hour or something like that. The uh, measurements uh, will be done uh, every minute so we, we should get some interesting, uh, nice curve uh, that will show us uh, the difference between the two, these two paints. Um, so see you back in one hour. Bye. So now we have the results from the two measurements. Um, as you can see in this graph, uh, the experiment ran for about uh, almost a, like 100 minutes. Um, and in the beginning, uh, there are quite low levels of VOC, uh, below 20. So as you can see in the air pollution level um, legend, uh, 0 to 20 is considered a low uh, pollution level. Um, but the uh, normal paint uh, really shoots up to beyond 100. And that is considered to be a very high air pollution level, uh, whereas the low VOC paint uh, the one with less odor and more environmentally friendly uh, sees a little bit of increase uh, but doesn't go much beyond 20. So that means the air pollution level remains low or um, in the lower range of moderate air pollution. Uh, so the experiment clearly shows that there's a big difference uh, between the, the paints and the effect on uh, air pollution. And that's quite important if your job is to paint every day uh, to basically protect your own health, uh, but also the health of people who will occupy that space afterwards. So uh, a good experiment and um, we will be doing more in the future. Hope you found it interesting. Thanks.